click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. So friends, now we are going to talk about that is how we can prepare aldehydes and ketones using germinal dihalide. So let us understand what is germinal dihalide. So this is the general formula of a germinal dihalide that I have been represented over here. So in this case, basically the two halogen groups, they are been attached to the same carbon atom. But while using a different germinal dihalide, we can prepare an aldehyde and while using a different germinal dihalide, we can prepare a ketone. So what I'm going to talk about, let me discuss this here. Suppose if we have to prepare an aldehyde, so we have to consider a germinal dihalide. And in that case, suppose if the halogen atoms are being attached to the carbon atom which is at the extreme position or which is at the terminal end so from that we can easily prepare aldehyde so let me give you an example with the help of this one that is suppose if we are considering a germinal dihalide so in this case we understand that there will be presence of two halogen atoms that could be attached to the carbon atom so this is the germinal dihalide but if you observe this thing and suppose if we consider this R group as an alkyl group so obviously this one would be the terminal or this one would be the first carbon atom so on this basically the two halogen atoms are being attached to it so this is a dihalide where the both the halogen are attached to the carbon and that carbon is the terminal carbon atom of the alkyl halide so in this case what we have to do is we have to do the hydrolysis process and that hydrolysis process can be done with the presence of that is koh and obviously it would be a dilute solution and it would be basic in nature so in that case we could understand that is two moles of koh it would be utilized so as to replace this halogen atom with oh group so that is the reason that we could obtain a product that is nothing but r c h over here and here will be OH and here will be OH while the rest of the products will be that is two moles of KX so this is the product that we have got over here that is a diol but the thing is it is not that much stable because the both the hydroxy groups they are attached to the same carbon atom so therefore the product that is been obtained over here is basically an unstable product or this is what we could call it as in intermediate also so this is an unstable product that we have obtained from the first step but this unstable product can be turned into a stable product by removing this H2 so while removing this H2 molecule we could obtain a stable product and that is R C H double bond O which is nothing but an aldehyde so here it is where the H2 it, be, it has been released and this is how we can obtain an aldehyde so let me give you an example for this one. So this is how we can prepare aldehyde by using the germinal dihalide. Suppose if we are considering that is CH3, CH, here I am suppose if I am using chloride as a halide that is been attached to the terminal carbon atom. And that suppose that undergoes the hydrolysis process in the presence of that is 2KOH and that is an equal solution. So in this process obviously we could obtain that is CH3 ch here it will be oh and here it will be oh so this is the product that we will obtain and that is nothing but an unstable product obviously in this case basically we could say that is the h2o molecule it would be removed as a byproduct while the main product that we will get over here is ch3 ch double bond o which is nothing but an aldehyde and especially if i am talking about the IUPC name so this is nothing but Ethanol. So this is how we can obtain aldehyde by using the germinal dihalides in which the two halogen atoms are being attached to the terminal carbon atom. So this is a different kind of uh, germinal dihalide that I was talking about and now let us understand about uh, the another type of germinal dihalide and from where we could easily prepare the ketones. So now let us understand that one. So now let us prepare ketone from germinal dihalide. So in this case we have to consider a germinal dihalide in which the halide atoms are basically attached to the carbon which is non-terminal so this is a general reaction that i'm going to represent and here as you could see that this carbon could be in the middle or it is not a terminal carbon atom and that is how basically this would react with this could react with the aqueous solution of the base that is koh and this is how the reaction proceeds where this x or this halogen atoms are being replaced by the OH group and the product that we could obtain here is this one 
obviously we understand that this is a product that is very much unstable so obviously in this kind of reaction the byproduct it will be removed in the form of water so the water will be removed as a byproduct and the product that we will obtain over here is r c r and this o is also or this oxygen atom is also present here so therefore this is the product that we will obtain over here and this is nothing but keto so this was the general reaction of a hydrolysis of geminal dihalide but now let me give you an example for this one also suppose if i am considering a reactant which is this one and obviously it will undergo reaction with two moles of koh and that is an aqua solution and the product that i could obtain here is as an intermediate it will be ch3 c oh oh and this one would be ch3 since i understand that this is an unstable product obviously in this case we see the water molecule it would be eliminated from here and the product that we could obtain over here is ch3 c ch3 over here and here it will be double bond o so this is nothing but acetone or we could also call it as propanone so the reactant that i have used over here is let me introduce the iupc nomenclature for this one so since the bromine atoms are being basically attached on the second carbon atom over here so therefore the name of this one would be 2 comma 2 dibromo methane ethane propane so now we can clearly understand that is if 2 comma 2 dibromo propane it undergoes an hydrolysis process so it will give us the product as propanone and that is what we have so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood that how we can prepare aldehyde and ketone by using the hydrolysis of geminal dihalide so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much